Pixar just loves to load its animated movies with Easter eggs and hidden details, and there are stacks of them you might have missed when you first watched Cars 3. yippee ki movie lovers, it's Jan here, and with Cars 3 available now to watch at home, I've gone through the movie with a fine tooth comb, and today I'll be explaining all the Pixar Easter eggs and cool details hidden in the film. Also, I'm starting a new Disney Funko giveaway for one of these Carl's Pop figures. For a chance to win, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and leave me a comment about your favourite Easter eggs you spotted in the movie. And just a quick warning before we start, I'll be discussing spoilers from Cars 3, so take care if you haven't seen the movie yet. Cruz's license plate is a clever shout out to the actress Cristela Alonso, who voices the character in the movie. It's a combination of her initials, C and A, and then her birthday, January the 6th. Plus, the plate is registered in Texas, a pun on Texas, which is where Alonzo was born. The Sleepwell Motel from Toy Story of Terror also shows up in Cars 3, on a giant roadside advert above the bridge where Mac and Lightning spend the night after the Thunder Hollow incident. The sign says, Time to Retire, which reflects Lightning's state of mind at that moment as he's just had an argument with Cruz after she won the Demolition Derby, and he's thinking about giving up racing for good. But it's also an extra reference to Toy Story of Terror and how Bonnie's mum had to stay at the Sleepwell Motel after she got a flat tyre. Also on that billboard, there's a deep cut Easter egg to Pixar's incorporation date in the number 020386. In other words, February the 3rd, 1986. And while Mac is sleeping below the bridge, inside, lightning is flipping channels. And just for a moment, the Cars 2 scene of a couple kissing on the Pont des Arts in Paris pops up on the TV screen. By the way, those kissing cars are named John and Nancy, after Pixar's John Lasseter and his wife, whose favourite colour just happens to be lavender, the same as a female car in that scene. One of the most memorable moments in Cars 3 is a demolition derby race, where we meet the fearsome Miss Fritter, and the scenes at the Thunder Hollow Speedway are also a fantastic treasure trove of Pixar Easter eggs and references for fans to appreciate. During the contest, one of the competitors, Bill, gets pushed along by Miss Fritter, and his colour design is the same as Pixar's famous Luxo Ball, plus he even has the Luxo Ball painted on his hood. The Luxo Ball appeared in Pixar's very first short film, Luxo Jr., together with two desk lamps, one of which is still used in Pixar's logo. Another competitor at the Thunder Hollow Demolition Derby is the Pizza Planet truck, aka Todd, who has appeared in both of the previous two Cars movies, and in Cars 3 at one point, a car goes crashing into him which knocks the Pizza Planet rocket off his roof and sends it flying into the crowd. A Crazy 8 racer called T-Bone, whose body is kind of twisted, has a street sign at the front of his hood in the race. The sign reads Park Avenue, a shout out to the location of Pixar Animation's main office at 1200 Park Avenue, Emeryville. Miss Fritter is of course the queen of the track at Thunder Hollow, and the design of her smokestacks are a deliberate homage to the horns of the classic Disney villain Maleficent. And dotted around the speedway are a number of billboards which have some super sneaky Easter eggs hidden within them. There's a car life insurance ad by a company called Insuricare, which is the same insurance company that Bob works for in The Incredibles. And the Wild Bill's Racing Cones billboard is a reference to the Cars 3 production designer Bill Cone. And the radio station Wild 86.2 FM is another deep cut Easter egg to the month and year when Pixar was incorporated, February 1986. By the way, there's yet another nod to that year in the movie as the number of Bill the Luxo Ball car is 86. And 1986 is also the year that Pixar released their first short film Luxo Jr., which also featured the Luxo Ball. In 1986, it was Steve Jobs who provided the investment money for Pixar's spin-out as a corporation from Lucasfilm, and since then, Pixar have included numerous homages in their movies to Steve Jobs' most famous brand, Apple. In Cars 3, you can hear the Mac starting sound when Cruz boots up the treadmill on Fireball Beach. Oh, okay. You might also have heard the same sound in Wally, -E, as it plays after Wally -E has finished charging himself. Speaking of Wally, -E, there's an Easter egg to that movie via the BNL, aka by and large, track sponsor at one of the speedways. BNL is a corporation in Wally -E that basically enabled the pollution of the planet and sent humans away from Earth while it attempted to clear it up. A BNL Raceway logo also appears during the Cars 3 credits. 
Pixar's films always include Easter eggs for their next movie, which in the case of Cars 3 means Coco. And there are loads of Coco Easter eggs and references in Cars 3. For example, you can spot the guitar from Coco on the stage behind Sweet Tea and her band at the Cotter Pin Bar. The town where Coco is set, Santa Cecilia, appears on the treadmill screen at the Rusty's Racing Centre when one of the homesick cars thinks of home. And there's also a neat Coco-inspired brand of liquor in the bar where Miss Fritter and her friends go to watch the Florida 500 race. The brand advertised is Torquella, which is a clever car-based pun on torque and tequila. While Miss Fritter's in that bar, you'll need to look very carefully to spot a sneaky A113 Easter egg via one of the license plates hanging on the side of the school bus, and you can see that a bit more clearly during the Crazy 8 Demolition Derby as well. Miss Fritter collects license plates from the opponent she defeats at the Thunder Hollow Speedway, and she also seems to collect street signs, and one of those street signs is for West Cutting Boulevard, a reference to the street address of Pixar's former headquarters in Richmond, California. Other Cars 3 A113 Easter eggs include one on the press sticker that track reporter Shannon Spokes wears on her side, and there's a fairly obvious A113 on the door to Sterling's office at the Rusty's Racing Centre. And inside Sterling's office there are some more cool Easter eggs. Hidden among the trophies on his shelves is Cinderella's pumpkin carriage. The movie's set department included this as it's a four-wheeled vehicle and is a fun little nod to one of Disney's classic films. And this one is much harder to see, but if you look very carefully, you'll see there's a small picture of Sir Miles Axelrod, the villain from Cars 2, which might suggest that Sterling once knew the evil mastermind from the second Cars movie. The miniature tree on Sterling's desk also looks a lot like the tree from A Bug's Life, which has also appeared previously in Up and Toy Story 2. And before Lightning went to the Rusty's Racing Centre, he spoke on a payphone to Rusty and Dusty from Radiator Springs. Now, that payphone was originally designed to appear in the first Cars movie, but ended up being cut. In fact, when Cars 3 production designer Jay Schuster joined Pixar back in the early 2000s, that payphone was one of the very first things he created. During the Florida 500 race, one of the racers spins out of control, nearly causing a multiple car accident. The spinning car is number 31, and its sponsor is Triple Dent Gum, which is the chewing gum from Inside Out that had a recurring jingle that played throughout that movie. Now, what was your favourite moment or Easter egg in Cars 3, and were there any other cool details you spotted that I missed? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe as well for a chance to win a Disney Cars 3 Funko Pop. I'll probably announce the winner on one of my upcoming Coco videos next month, so make sure you have notifications enabled to get all my new videos as soon as they're ready. And if you enjoyed this, do hit that thumbs up button and take a look at some more Pixar and other videos you might like right here. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yippee ki movie lovers!